Last week I talked about the first part of Jan Morris's memoir, Conundrum. And this week I'm going to be talking about the end of it. Specifically, I'd like to talk about the first full paragraph on the last page, page 174. There's a sentence that reads, I have lived the life of a man, I live now the life of a woman, and one day, perhaps, I shall transcend both. If not as a person, then perhaps as art. If not here, then somewhere else. Specifically, I'd like to zero in on the word transcend. Most of us know the word transcend from the transcendentalists of the 1800s, American authors like Henry David Thoreau, and they thought they could transcend or rise above materialism by living simply, and in that way they could discover the higher truths of the universe, spiritual enlightenment, and so on. And then if we look at Merriam-Webster's dictionary, we see the definition of transcend, a verb, to be to rise above or go beyond the limits of, to triumph over the negative or restrictive aspects of. In the context of Morris, she's writing that one day she might transcend or rise above gender, that she will triumph over the negative restrictions of gender. I think that was a pretty strong word choice. Rise above the negative restrictions is what transcend means. Anyway, this implies that gender is something that can be overcome. It's something low that you can rise above. Uh, there's the connotation then that gender is a negative thing. Then it's below the higher truths. It's below true awareness. The same way that the transcendentalists viewed materialism and politics. Morris says that one day she'll go beyond the restrictions of gender. She could be meaning here the restrictions of being a man, the restrictions of being a woman, which we talked a lot about today, or the restrictions of having to conform to any gender at all. Um, and this confirms, though, in Morris's mind, that gender is restrictive, especially like we discussed today what it is to be a girl in the modern world, to be thought of as less than, to be thought of as young and juvenile. It's restrictive. Um, and if something can be transcended, like Morris says gender can be transcended, then it is not a universal higher truth. Traditionally, things that can be transcended are things that are constructs, like society and money and politics. And this implies, or confirms in Morris's mind, that gender is a construct something that society has created. Um, it is not a universal truth. It's something we made. And if we made it, we can change it. Gender is a construct, according to Morris, so then we can change it. It can be changed on the individual basis, like how Morris changed herself, transitioning from male to female. She transcended gender by transitioning hope I said that right. It's a bit of a tongue twister. But maybe what Morris is also saying here is that we can change our perspective on gender. If we rise above what we think it means to be one gender or another or to have to fit into a category, maybe we can change our perspectives on gender and maybe we can change our perspectives on gender roles. Um, and if we do manage to rise above gender, then the word transcend implies that there's a higher, a better truth waiting for us. What it really is to be male or female or a person, that if we look past the gender that we have constructed, we can see what it really is. I think I read into that one word quite a bit there. I've never read so deeply into one word before, but I think I think it's important here to get what Morris is saying. She can rise above gender. That implies that gender is lower, and it's something that we all could overcome.